Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so the last time I said that this was going to be a sort of spontaneous fanfluation because I hadn't planned what I was going to be doing this time. Um, so I think I'm going to be sticking with that plan. Um, I'm still not totally sure what necessarily I want to be talking about with this fanfluation, so that's going to be interesting. Yay! <laughs> um, well, I guess I could sort of talk about some of the things that I've been watching currently, um, or some of, you know, either over the last couple of years or you know various series and things that I'm sort of keeping up to date with currently. Um, I know that's sort of been covered in some of the things I've talked about before, so I'm not going to mention things like Steven Universe again because obviously you know I have covered Steven Universe before. Um, oh, and I'm not necessarily a good name, you know various things that I've talked about before but I might as well sort of you know talk a little bit about some of the things I haven't um so yeah let's let's go with that <laughs> um so on that note the first one I think I want to talk a little bit about is the new DuckTales series um that it came out towards or started coming out towards the end of last year and um I sort of remember DuckTales from when I was growing up um so I was like, yeah, you know what, might as well give it a little look-see, see what it's about, see if it's any good. And yeah, it's it's a really great series. Um, I wouldn't say it was a perfect series by, by any means, but in terms of certainly like the last few episodes of the series, they were really good. And there were certain moments that I was just like, wow, this is actually a really good series. <laughs> I'm glad that I've taken the time to watch this and I had to go back to the beginning and I watched it all the way through again. Um, I like the way the characters have been updated and, you know, given their own sort of personalities in, in, in terms of the triplets. For anyone who, who knows anything about the original DuckTales, um, I did for a long time not really like Louis' character very much. It was just, yeah, something about him. He was, you know, speaking as a middle child myself, I definitely identify most with uh, Dewey. <laughs> Even though I'm definitely not a neglected middle child, um, partly because I'm the only girl, and um, you know that then changes the dynamic a little bit anyway. Um, but yeah, no, the, I sort of definitely sort of flipped between him and and Huey being being my favourite two of the triplets. Um, and Lou is kind of like, to me, that's that's not really how a younger brother is. <laughs> my younger brother wasn't really like that, and I know this sort of. Yeah, they, they are kind of being characterised in, in a particular way and it's not necessarily following the sort of the, the idea of how younger, older and middle siblings are supposed to behave. There are, you know, other things coming in and stuff like that. But you know, there was just something about his personality that just didn't quite gel for me. And then there's this moment in one of the final episodes of the series, and I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't watched it yet, but... I think you'll probably know what the moment is uh, when you when you do watch it, and it just sort of made me go, okay, I, I like his character now. Just just because it just showed this other sort of side to him that wasn't really being presented sort of as as much before, and it just kind of gave me a better understanding of, you know, he's not just like this one note character, which he wasn't, but yeah, that, that the note that was kind of the most prominent did kind of grate a little with me, and then that just kind of made me sympathise with him a little bit more. So going back and rewatching the series, I found that I did enjoy his character a little bit more after that. Um, yeah, it is, it's definitely, it's definitely been a fun series. I can't wait for series two to come out, I believe. There's a series two, and I'm hoping it will come out soon because I miss having things to watch. <laughs> Not that I, you know, I'm stuck for things to watch, but it's definitely one of those things that I'm kind of like, yeah, I would definitely like to see where they take the series from here. And, you know, it's, it's definitely been a fun sort of journey. And I, you know, I, yeah. <laughs> 
I apologize if I'm a little bit babbly in this one. Not really having planned what I was going to say doesn't help. And I've also had a, a little bit of a foggy week. So my brain isn't necessarily working as well as it could. <laughs> Which, so, um, yeah. But if I'm doing things like that, that's that's why. And I hope you'll bear with me. <laughs> um, so... Something else that I'm I'm watching a lot of and into at the moment. Um, I don't know if I've spoken about My Hero Academia when I did the the, the vlog on on anime, as I know I did one of my fan relations, which was just specifically talking about anime. Um, but My Hero is again something I've been watching a lot of uh, recently. I'm I'm up to date with the series apart from the episode that has just released. Um, <laughs> I need, I need to go I need to go watch that <laughs> I think <laughs> um yeah again it's it's you know if, if I haven't spoken about it before it's it's a good series and it's it definitely yeah I, it was definitely one of those series that kind of hooked me in right away and I'm not somebody who necessarily watches an anime because everybody's watching it because if I was that kind of person I would have definitely seen um things like um Attack on Titan what it's called <laughs> and one piece and and stuff like that and i'm i'm i haven't and you know it's it i, I don't sort of look for an anime series that is popular i look for an anime series that i think i'm going to enjoy watching um and this one you know just caught my attention and it's yeah i, I want to know what happens next i it's definitely one that i think i will go the, the long haul with um I do like to with anime. So if I can get like through an anime, then you know I, I do like to sort of do that. But sometimes it just you know it doesn't quite work out. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, I apologise. This one is a little bit. Um, <laughs> you see, I've had a fun week, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, talking about anime, um, I also watched the newest series of Carcaptor Sakura and got to the last episode and I was like, surely there's got to be more episodes after this. So there were no more episodes. It's really annoying. Because <laughs> it ends and it's like, no, that can't be the last episode. Sure, surely that's not the last episode. Because um, a friend of mine was also watching it and she was like, yeah, no, it's the last episode of this series. And I was like oh come on it just it just felt like it just ended really suddenly it just felt like it ended like just as the series was getting really good so i don't know maybe hopefully they'll do another series of it but if not you know it's there's nothing i can really do about it but again this is an anime i did sort of mention in the anime one and i, I do remember mentioning it in the anime one but um cute earth high defense club have a, had a, uh, released a new series earlier in the year as well and I watched all of that and actually I was I sort of started off not completely sure about the new characters because they weren't focusing on the characters that the, the previous seasons had focused on they were completely new characters and I was at the beginning of the I wasn't like too sure about them um but yeah certainly by the end of the series I was kind of like you know, I think I actually prefer them because you get to know, I mean, the, the first the first couple of seasons uh, were really good and the characters were really likeable, but you didn't really feel like you got to know that much about them. And you, you did and you didn't. It was, it was weird. I feel like the characters were more diverse and interesting in the newest series than they were. The, the ones that you were with in the, in the previous series is, although I was really disappointed that they didn't have any cameos from any of those characters. I was just like, why? Why would you do this? Why would you not, like, just, like, even a photo somewhere? Because they did have a, a cameo of uh, the teacher character um, that sort of appears in the first two series. If you, if you know anything about Cute, uh, Cute High Defense Club Love, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, they, they, had, they had that cameo. Why, why, why wouldn't you give us a cameo of them? It was just, yeah, that was the, that was the one sort of thing. I mean, I don't think the series itself was necessarily as laugh out loud funny, although there were some episodes that are just, just hilarious. Um, but I don't think it was necessarily as laugh out loud funny as the original series, but I think the character balance and character relationships and dynamics were better. 
So, yeah, if they do another season with these characters, I will definitely, definitely watch it and definitely want to sort of see where they sort of take things next because, yeah, they, there's something about the, the anime and the way they do it and the way they present the characters and it just appeals to me and, and my sense of um, amusement, I think. <laughs> and, you know, it is, it's an interesting concept. Um, sort of <laughs> depending on what you classify as an interesting concept it's a very interesting concept <laughs> but yeah no that I, I definitely enjoyed watching that when, when that was coming out um so I, again this is this going back a bit it's not something that's running currently but I also watched the latest series of uh, Channel Falls Humans um I think it's called Humans Yes, I'm pretty sure it's called Humans. Um, which again, it's again, this is not a animated. This is actually a live live action um, series. <laughs> so I do watch them. I'm not just all about the cartoons and the anime. I do watch other things. Um, yeah, I've seen all the seasons of that, and I definitely feel like the way they've ended this current series. I'm looking forward to the next one, and I'm hoping that. Hopefully there will definitely be a next series. I don't know. I don't because I watch all the stuff that I watch online. So I, my TV license is essentially so that I can watch <laughs> iPlayer, <laughs> not because I actually watch TV, just so that I can watch things on demand. Which I, you know, it, it, I don't watch a lot of things on demand. But in the fact that I'm, I'm able to, if I want to, you know, it's it's easier for me and I can sort of pick and choose when I when I watch things and, and you know I'm not regimented to TV timetables which you know I don't really have time for <laughs> but yeah no anyway so I've been watching like the previous series and this series is definitely one of the most interesting I, I think they're definitely sort of moving the, the, for, the forward they're moving the story forward in the way that it needs to be moved and you know everything about it is yeah yeah I like the way they ended the the series or, and, and there were a few times though where I was kind of like oh but you could so have done x y or z and taking it in a slightly different direction and I'd sort of like had various theories about where I thought things were going and it didn't go there and yeah it was <laughs> yeah I think I think I kind of enjoyed I enjoyed watching that definitely um so, yeah, okay, I think that's all I want to do on this rather babbly, rambly kind of fan sort of just letting you guys know the various things I have seen certainly this year, um, just to sort of give you a general idea of where my current interests are at. Obviously, I've not talked about all the YouTube stuff that I watch because that's a completely separate thing and that's a continuous, like, ongoing type thing. Um, I'm sort of more focusing on all the, you know, various other bits and pieces that, you know, I kind of watch um, in my own time, but I'm not watching YouTube. <laughs> um, that's probably been one of my least interesting fan creations, but I don't think it, there's, you know, nothing to it at all. Um, sometimes it's just nice to just sort of sit down and kind of go, yeah, these are the things that I'm watching at the moment and have been on my brain recently because, you know, I've seen them recently and, you know, that may or may not be influencing various other things, but, you know, um, making decisions for, like, what else I want to watch and stuff like that. It can sometimes be based on the things that I'm watching and that can then influence you know, what I'm writing and how I write and the themes and stuff that are kind of going on there. So, yeah, it, it's it's not a completely pointless vlog. It's probably one of my more pointless vlogs, but at least it's short, right? Right? <laughs> she says. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> with this one done and dusted, uh, the next one, I want to do something a little bit odd and interesting I guess you could say um so back in March I did a series of videos um in promotional videos for uh, Hyena Boy that involved sort of short introductions to the uh some of the characters in, in Hyena Boy um and that was sort of done back at an earlier 
stage in the editing process and since that point um, some of the details about some of the characters have altered and changed and how I think of them has kind of altered and changed so I kind of want to do a vlog talking about where the characters are at now. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next time and yes I know I've just done a couple of vlogs talking about um, you know, stuff connected to Hyena Boy and stuff like that, but it's kind of the thing that's really on my mind at the moment, and yeah, it's it's just what I want to want to talk about, and you know, it'd be good just to sort of get sort of an updated thing up and about uh, for them anyway, so that I can also add it to the promo stuff, just because I do need to be promoting my book at the moment. I'm sorry, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys will sort of come back and you know, view that one because it will give you different takes on what I said about the characters before. I might be able to go a little bit more depth into it and yeah, it, I'm hoping, hoping it'll be interesting. <laughs> so, trust me, I'm checking it out. All right, so yeah, I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!